limpiando, jangueando. Yo sé que eso a ti no te gusta. Tú y yo, en la cama tú y yo, quiero hacerte el amor. En la cama tú y yo, quiero hacerte el amor. En la cama tú y yo. Hello, gorillas. I'm your boy, Chef Perry, the Bean Gorilla. Welcome to the Bean Gorilla Cooking Show. We're going to make a little uh, tempeh bacon, grill style. Tempeh bacon. So, let me grab my tempeh. Here we go. So I just basically cut it up, cut the package, cut it up in about a quarter inch lengthwise. Put it all in there. And the biggest trick is making the marinade. So, let's make the marinade. So, we've got a few different uh, ingredients here that we're going to uh, try. I mean, I know it's been done lots of times on TV and different videos and stuff like that. So, uh, I try to mix it up a little bit different, create a little bit different flavor. That's what I do. And uh, let's go from there. So, I'm going to put some soy sauce in. I'm going to go with... Uh, Three, let's go with three tablespoons of soy. Three tablespoons of soy, soy sauce. And I'm gonna go with three tablespoons of my, my brand new maple syrup that I didn't open yet, sorry about that. Give me that second. All right. As a bell. Actually, let's I'm gonna mix it up in here first because I'm gonna put the tempeh in here. So let me put that in there. And we'll go with uh, three tablespoons. One, two, three. Nice. And we're gonna go with apple cider vinegar. Let's do that. So apple cider vinegar, we'll give it that little bit extra tang to it. I'm gonna go with uh, two tablespoons of that. Let's go with three. We'll do three. All right. Ah, I'm making a mess. That's done, that's done, that's done. I'll double input my ingredients. And I got some a liquid smoke. Very important for this ingredient, so don't skip on it. At least it gives that smoky flavor. This is a hickory flavor, so I'm gonna go with uh, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of that. Himalayan salt. Don't really need too much salt because the uh, soy sauce obviously has a lot of sodium in there already. Smoked paprika. Let's go with the uh, teaspoon or two. Smoked paprika. January. That's why it's in there, but it's coming. All right, so we got about three quarters to a tablespoon of molasses in here. Very sticky. Sticky. As you can see. Sticky. Ah. 
Let's give that a little mix, stir. This is going to be our marinade. Now you're going to have to break down that molasses a little bit, press it down a little bit to, to get the gooiness, but the main flavors will come out of it. You sort of get that irony taste from the molasses. So again, I mean, try not to leave it out if you're making this, because it's a really important part of the uh, ingredient to the flavoring. The way I make it anyways. So, get mix it in there good. And then, what we do is we put our base of it, make sure the bottom's wet so it soaks up some in there. We're just going to lay these in. Like so. We're going to brush it again. Pull that molasses to stick away. <laughs> Let's stick it. Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, another layer. So we're gonna pour this all in there anyways, I just wanna make sure we get a little bit of moisture in between. Now, 
So be patient with these. They're a little fragile still, so when you're turning them, they will break if you're not careful. This, like that. These two on here. Bear with me. Almost done. Okay. Now, put the rest of the marinade on. flavors infused right in there. A lot of recipes I see when people do this, they just marinate, take it out of the fry, bake it, whatever. Um, I like to keep marinating this, cook it down a little bit, and really get it uh, soaked in there, infused in there. So, let this sit for a minute or two. It's not as hot in the pan now, so it's not going to fry yet, but this will thicken up a little bit, infuse down, and we'll get this right. All right. There. In the meantime, I'll tell you a joke. Uh, two guys and the uh, gorilla walk into a bar, and uh, okay. I'm on the scene and they have just not premeditated jokes. I don't know if that makes sense, but no. Make uh, tofu egg if you want, and have a egg on an egg breakfast with some toast and that. I'm gonna actually just make a little uh, toast sandwich. Uh, I'll put some vegan cheese on it. I bought some processed processed uh, pre-bought vegan cheese, and uh, I mean it's it's already pre-sliced too, but actually it tastes pretty good, and pretty realistic. So uh, let's make a little sandwich with that. Maybe throw a tomato on there. Close it up, get a rating, one five gorillas, one bean, five bean, four gorillas. Okay, I do this again. We'll see how it goes. All right, let this cook for, for a bit. See, it doesn't fry up as quickly, which is good because we're really getting those flavors in there. I'm going to swap spots with these a little bit because these ones are crisping up. Nice. All right. All right, so I'm gonna pop a couple toasts together and uh, get things set up. And I'll make a little sandwich. All right, great that. Hello, gorillas. It's all fried up and ready to go. Look at that. Mm. Smells good. Mm. Well. And it's not dry either because I really soaked it with that marinade, so it's, uh, the texture is still got a little bit of bite to it. Uh, it's juicy. I can take a, taste a hint of that uh, glass. This is really good. So I'm going to make a quick sandwich and uh, store bought props. Not props, but so I got some vegan mayo. I'm going to slap on there. Both sides, of course. And I got a tomato. Put a little tomato on there. Okay. I don't need to put any uh, more salt on here because it's already got enough flavors in there. I got my vegan cheese, so I'm gonna stack my sandwich. Little pieces, big pieces, I don't care. Oh, yeah. I'm a two layer kind of guy. Wow. So cheese. So, so this is vegan cheese. Actually, pretty, it's pretty good and pretty tasty, I have to admit. Um, Got that from Farm Boys, actually, here in. Ontario, I'm not sure if you're in the States or not, but 
sandwich on top. A little slice of roni. Hmm. All right. Oh, that's a bit. Don't want to lose that. Like, oh, why can't I taste the tempeh? That's weird. I wonder why. Not in the sandwich. Here we go. apple cider vinegar and the uh, gets a little bit of tart sweetness tang and that black strap molasses don't forget that that's got that little airy taste to it and that really i mean you don't taste iron obviously but it uh it really gives you that little meat flavoring extra for some some reason i guess from the air i guess and uh the texture is good it's juicy it's not dry um and obviously on sandwich it's even better uh, with some tomato and mayo, cheese, all that stuff. So vegans, of course, vegan stuff. So yeah, give it a shot. Let me know and uh, spruce up your sandwich even more. Throw some lettuce in there. <clears throat> make a BLT. Make a breakfast with your tofu and that. But this is very versatile. Very good. You can crumble this up. You can put it on top of a salad. It doesn't have to be in a sandwich. Uh, make yourself a nice fresh salad and get that. That'll crumble up. I mean, it doesn't crumble, but you can make it in little pieces like so. And uh, put a little almost like uh, little bits on there. So it help the flavor up and give that little extra fifth gorilla in there so for that salad. So anyway, so I'm gonna see you again. And when I do see you again, namaste, much love, be kind. I'm eating this, I'll talk to you later. Hmm.